everybody. Welcome to Passions and Pastimes. This is Pat Hood. And today I have a jewelry bag from Value Village, um, which in the U.S. is called Savers, I understand. So $12.99. This actually um, was one of the cheaper bags. The other ones I think were $14.99, $15.99. Um, and I picked this one because this looks like natural stones and this looks like agate. And I just like the look of it. It was after I picked it that I found the price. It was one of the cheapest ones. So um, let's uh, get into this bag. Uh, I weighed the bag. It's 2 pounds 11 and 3 quarter ounces. So, uh, you know, a little over... Uh, you know, four or five dollars a pound. You know what? These are wicked staples, so I'm gonna cut open the bag and get rid of this part. Excellent. So, first things out of the bag are. Oh, they're. Oh, okay. <laughs> I could hear them making noise, but, oh, slightly broken. Oh, that's too bad. Okay, so there's, okay, so there's this bracelet, and I'm not sure if it's, Broken, missing some beads along there, or how this is supposed to work. And I think this is supposed to be a bell, but or something with a, with something hanging from it. And here's its counterpart. Yeah, obviously we're missing some things. This has got it's only missing one there, but it's missing all the little beads that would uh, come along and join up at the end here. So. Yeah, this might be worth uh, a project worth trying to repair. I don't know what I'm going to do about that spot there. But these are also very repurposable. And these little dangles could be taken off. All these little wire and seed beads could be repurposed. So, broken but interesting. And then there's this. Okay, this was... Uh, a hook and circle. These are obviously faux pearls. Nicely dyed. But you can see how they were paint, you know, painted on the strand. They're not gritty at all. But these are, they're nice quality. I don't know if they're glass. They're fairly cold. So the, that's, again, uh, Nice color, repurposable. That half of the class could be saved and repurposed. Ooh, these are nice glass beads. Again, pretty color, broken, but, well, maybe not. You know what, this looks like a, band, a strand of beads, that kind of a, a closure. This looks like the kind of strand of beads you would buy at a bead shop because the last one is knotted in place. So this is like jewelry making supplies. Great. Well, you know, I like I like occasionally making jewelry, right? This is a nice stretchy bracelet. It's a little more I stretch it, the worse it's getting. Oh dear. So looks like it needs new stretchy cord. Just checking it. No maker's mark. If I put it on, you can see it really, it, 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 it's baggy. It shouldn't be baggy like that. So, I like those colors though. You know, pink, sort of a burgundy, um, a cream, and orange. They're nice. The, it makes the orange nice and bright. And the pink and orange don't really fight, I guess, with that when you've got that... Uh, Sort of burgundy red there. Neato. Okay, well, so far we're on the repair 
stream of items here. Let's see, this is a tangle and something broke off. Oh dear. So let's see what we can pull out of here that, oh, okay. So three fancy bangles and they're very interestingly, like that, like a flower design or something there, but heavy. I mean, relatively speaking, kind of rough to put on, but they look nice, sound nice. They go on easier one at a time. So there's a nice set of bangles. Those are nice. Let's see if this Okay, so this is a, a necklace with a lobster claw clasp, and it's two sort of slices of the moon, and has lost a little ring there that uh, holds them together. So there's an easy repair. I think I'll repair that and donate that on. Um, oh, here's some more of those pearls this is so the other this is the the other part of that broken pearl necklace so this is totally repairable just needs new string i got both halves of the clasp and there's the other half over here it's so got a maker's name the work connection Hmm, never heard of that, but you know, I can always look it up. So now I got more pearls that I can do something with. I'm gonna put try to there's a few hanging around here just flopping around. This looks very much like a napkin ring. Couldn't be anything else. It's certainly not a yeah. Oh well. Can't seem to uh, avoid that kind of thing. So this is a, this will be nice if it's all there. Look at this, it's a nice little chain bracelet. It's fairly large, so I'd say it was more for a man than a woman, but, or someone who has a much larger wrist than I do. Mine's the sort of standard seven inch bracelet wrist. Um, it's in pretty good shape. I'll give it a wash. My husband might want to steal that and wear it. He likes that kind of thing. Here's um, okay. This is I was saying okay. This is like a tie tack thing, but it's I'm not sure what it is. It looks like. A toggle and ring, maybe, for a necklace. Well, this is the pearl necklace that's all tangled in here. Uh, that's I'm going to have to detangle off camera and come back. What else have we got here? Oh, this is kind of freaky looking. Ooh. It's... I don't know if it's supposed to be like a, a caterpillar bracelet or something. There's one end. Don't like the fact that my camera's not focusing very well. I'm going to maybe push some stuff out of the way. See if I can get it to focus better. That's better. So this kind of looks like a caterpillar, doesn't it? So there's one end. But I don't see how... joins up it's kind of cool looking hmm never seen anything like that before these are all little um, head pins with little bugle beads on them very unusual a lot of work involved can you imagine 
doing that by hand, putting that together by hand, that's a lot of work. It's probably it's worth keeping just because it's so unusual. And then there are these. I wonder if they go together somehow. It's kind of silly enough that it maybe that's maybe they do. Let's put that there. So they're one's bronzish and one's sort of gunmetal black. And this one looks like silver and black. And a ring. Is it a pendant? Is it it's part of something anyway? Some more of these pearls. Here's a couple of pieces of I bet this is from a stretchy bracelet because you can see there's the holes. One, two, three, four. They'd make nice spacers in jewelry. Well, I think this has got the rhinestones and this doesn't. So, two of those. Here are some. Oh, this is uh, this string is so rotten it's falling off, but these are beautiful black glass faceted beads so I'll put them inside of this um, napkin ring and get rid of that garbage and here's another bangle just plain gold tone and what else have we got this is a Ziploc bag with shells in it I don't know if it's, these are shells for jewelry making or if it's a broken necklace. So, they're shells for jewelry making. They're kind of cool. And in the same bag was this weird, it's like a piece of lava rock, maybe. It's quite shiny. It's, it sounds like rock. It feels like rock. There's something weird there, but I don't think it's just part of the rock. Neat. So this could maybe this was meant to be making a necklace because certainly the colors go together nicely. Never, things I've never seen before. I mean, I've seen shell beads like that, but I've never seen a pendant like that. And I've usually lava rock is much um, coarser. No, this is very very smooth. So it's been whatever has been done to it. If maybe it's not lava rock, but whatever it is, it's uh, very smooth and unusual. I. I try to I just don't like that little spot there so okay so lots of pieces maybe this is all repurposing stuff ooh lobster caught clasp these are nice looking faux pearls no knots or anything but there's a perfectly good little pearl necklace very nice oh here's a little rhinestone here is another bangle, very thin, very out of shape. Is it got a pattern on the outside? Yeah, okay. Well, maybe. Maybe we could do something with that. I haven't, uh, if you have any suggestions of what to do with when you have excess bangles, let me know. Um, I know, you know, people try to sell them 10 for a dollar, 20 for a dollar. Doesn't seem to work. Those two could be worn together. This one with the black is a little chipped around the edges, but nice. I wonder if there's some kind of Christmas ornament you could make with with these, with where you put something inside. Crochet a snowflake or something. I don't know. More of those uh, lovely beads. What else have we got? Now, I saw this. This is one of the bags of things that made me choose this jewelry bag over the others because I saw these stones. Oh, I didn't realize they were all pendants. Oh, bonus. So these could be used as charms. They've got little, you know, insignificant bales on them. But look, they're all uh, polished stones of various types. Oh, cool. And sizes and colors and Like there's two, let's see this. So there's two of what might be, I don't know, 
Aventurine. And three of these, they look, oh no, two of these, that one's maybe three. Are those all kind of the same looking stone? Very cold. Two like this. Which looks like uh, some kind of a stone with quartz inclusions. Two like this. Um, so two of some, this is some kind of a quartz, polished quartz, lots of fractures inside. And then this one's much whiter, but these are both, yeah, these are both kind of the same as well. Whoops, sorry about that. Didn't mean to hit the camera. These two are quite similar. They look, I would say these are so light. Um, that's probably an agate. These two oh, could be carnelian. This could be some orange quartz. These two. Oh, look at how pretty that is. Wow. So, oh, well worth it just for all these. Imagine putting those into jewelry. That's a great bunch of real stone. Okay, so I'm going to just uh, put these away and I'll be right back. So I've gone and uh, detangled, untangled um, that big mess. So the first thing that came out complete from this that tangle was this lovely brush silver tone and uh, glass pendant, silver tone chain, and lobster claw clasp. And the tag, I think, is, let us see. Oh, come now. There we go. MCXX. So I'll look that up. I don't recall. I've seen it before, but I don't recall what it means. So that's a perfect, that's the first, I think, complete, well, except for the, bang, the bangles, the first complete, Oh, and the bracelet. Okay, so it's first complete necklace. How's that? So this necklace is broken. This is um, Aldo. And this part of the chain is broken. So that's an easy fix. And those are some nice glass beads. Lots of repair stuff in here. Um, this is the pearl. These are nice glass pearls, and they're knotted in between. Um, what's the manufacturer or the maker? Max, M-E-X-X. -X. Well, maybe that's slightly different than M-C-X-X. -X. Anyway, it's got, I think these were three, uh, supposed to be two strands of this chain, and they're all broken. Um, some nice chain items, some nice pearls. I'm not sure if I'm going to repair it or repurpose the chain. It's kind of like the chain. And then this came apart. This started falling apart. So four of these uh, wire-covered plastic beads were part of this necklace. Um... They, the head pins were just not big enough to hold them on. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They should have been seven, so we've only got five. So that could be repaired. Um, but this other chain is also part of that necklace. So there were two chains, and it's broken. So not sure. Again, big repairs. Not sure what I'm going to do with it. Okay, some more. Oh, baggies of things. Let's see. Oh, 
Natura Elegance, a metal pendant. Oh, cool. A metal pendant uh, in its package from Blue Moon, Blue Moon Beads. I recognize that. Okay, so there's a jewelry finding. Here's a shell necklace in a Ziploc bag, and I'm not sure if it's here. Yeah, it's broken. Okay, so uh, this is uh, not sure what I'll do with that. Could be repaired. I'm not really sure if it's worth my time. This is a teething ring. <laughs> it's a bangle. It's kind of some kind of a rubbery plastic. It doesn't feel just like plastic, but black. Nothing wrong with it. There is... Okay, somebody's key. Well, nice little uh, lanyard. So I'll have to see about uh, repurposing that perhaps. Um, oh, another one of these uh, identical. Metal pendants. Another one of these little uh, parts of it. Oh, two more. They'd make nice spacers, or if, there's, if all of them are here, here's a little pouch of beads. They're kind of a nice color. Kind of got a greenish center. Those are unusual. Oh, I'm looking forward to seeing this one strand that I, I'm pretty sure I knew what it was from the outside. But we'll wait till we get to the bottom of the bag. Another bag, what do you want to bet that this is another broken necklace? This is shell. And, oh. Oh, it's not broken actually quite nicely done so one of the rings becomes the toggle and it's got these nice little accents in the circles well that's very pretty I wonder if those are gla uh, glass they feel cold they don't they don't feel like shell they feel cold like glass and they sound like glass so that's a lovely glass necklace alrighty Um, oh, here's another bangle that matches uh, the other black one. So there's a pair of matching ones now. Here is a ring. Purple stone. Seven and a half. Quite nice. I'm going to just see... Yeah, it's just costume but nice looking this is an interesting oh just a little necklace spring ring and comes down to a little metal tassel there's something else that's not broken that's nice um, keep finding random rhinestones on the table to figure out something to do with that. This, this is a bead kit. There's some wire, a bunch of spacers, and a bunch of ha uh, magnetic hematite beads. Oh, okay. So there's another potential kit. Here's some more of these uh, nice glass beads and some more of the pearls that we're keeping off to the side. Here's glass pendant fell off of something. Some more of those little spacers. Another pearl. This Hmm. It's 
Oh, that's separate. Okay, so here's a necklace. The, okay, so here's the end of the necklace. Lobster claw clasp, a little bit extender. Multi-strand, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of dot and dash uh, chain that come down to, to a knot. Very perfectly wearable necklace. What else have we got here? Some, another of the faux pearls. These are some glass faux pearls. Yeah, that silver color. Great jewelry supplies. I didn't realize there'd be that many jewelry supplies in here. Here's um, a bag of, okay, brown or dark brown beads, kind of similar but larger than this other strand of glass beads. So these are, like once again, glass beads. Excellent. Here's a little necklace that I pulled out and didn't look at. Lobster claw clasp, a little dangle nice little y necklace with rhinestones very very pretty now you can see it better there on my hand that's really delicate and cute focus 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 there we go it's very nice that may be for my granddaughter. What else? We've got another stretchy bracelet, some random pearls. This is uh, not too bad a shape. It's a little, it's too big for me, and it is at a stretch. So, it was well loved. Or maybe that's just, maybe the copper is naturally showing through. I can't really tell. But uh, there's a nice little, well, I guess the copper sort of an el a natural element of it. So it just needs some new cord and be wearable. Um, go over there. And this is, in addition to all those um, pendants that I'd seen. I, I'd seen those. They were natural sewn. I didn't realize they were pendants. So in addition to this bag, I also saw this, which attracted me to picking this out. There's the last of the beads. And I recognized this, what I assumed was agate. There you go. And it's a good strand of agate. And I can see from the $14 tag and the fact that it says red agate. I don't even know the store this would have come from. A store that's no longer in business. So there's my uh, money back just on that beautiful strand of agate. And uh, lots of other cool things. These agate those and those all those stone pendants. All the usable beads and some, some necklaces that uh, are intact. So I'm going to have lots of fun with this stuff. Well, hope you had a great day. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, please subscribe and tell your friends. I'm going to say bye for now. Have a good tomorrow. It's Pat Hood from Passions and Pastimes.